The next stop on our Amalfi Coast trip was the charming town of Ravello. We spent two nights taking in the views and the beauty of this historic town. Here's what we did on our two night stay. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dina Perez and I'm a travel blogger based in New York City. I am spending two weeks on the Amalfi Coast. I'm currently in Positano and we are headed to Ravello today. So we are going to check out of our hotel. I will leave the Positano vlogs here if you want to check out what I did in Positano. But we are headed to the Cita bus stop to catch the Cita bus to Ravello. Everyone is saying how amazing the views are. We have never been to Ravello, me and El Senio. So we are excited to see what it's all about. And the Cita bus is the local bus that runs along the Amalfi Coast. The price is very affordable. You can get tickets at, and you can buy them in advance. You could also do a private car transfer, whatever you like. We have walked all the way. I'm pretty sure you can see where we were staying, we walked all the way around and now we are waiting for the Cita bus. I believe it stops right here. So we're waiting. <laughs> We've made it on the Cita bus and it's not very luggage friendly and they drive very fast. <laughs> so just be prepared for a wild ride. And we are headed now to Ravello. We are stopping in Amalfi first and then transfer to another bus once we arrive in Amalfi. So we're gonna enjoy the AC for a moment. We made it to Amalfi. We walked like 10 steps. We were dropped off over there and now we're walked this way. We have made it up to Ravello. Welcome by a stunning view. Ah, would you take a bus again? I would, I just wish they had the luggage yeah. storage. Yeah, the luggage is really hard because there was probably like 40, 30 people waiting for the bus. Everyone was just grabbing a seat and there was nowhere to go. We have these big luggages, there's nowhere to put them. Everyone's just like yelling at you to get out of the way when there's nowhere to go because everyone's just in the, the aisle. A little stressful, we need a big drink. <laughs> yeah. But we are happy to be in Ravello. I think the whole process from Positano to here, about an hour and a half. We had to wait about 30 minutes to get the bus in Amalfi. Yeah. So it's kind of a, uh, takes a while to get here, but we are so glad that we are. We have made it to our hotel. It's the hotel dog. Hi, Camilla. Oh, <laughs> we're just checking in. Gorgeous. giving a little room tour we have the bathroom over here and I've never seen this before it's like a shower hut because that's in the bathtub and then we just have our room which is so cute and my favorite part is this gorgeous balcony oh wow we just checked in we have a little surprise <laughs> sure grazie mille and we have this amazing view this is just what we needed <laughs> Yes, we, we took the Cita ah, and it was a lot of busy. people. <laughs> we need a air condition that doesn't work. <laughs> oh. Yeah, exactly. And we have this amazing view. Look at a beautiful garden. And look at this view. Incredible. And then there is the the hotel pool, which is right below. And then this is the road that we came on from the Cita bus. It was probably like a five minute walk. It wasn't bad, but there are steps up this way. What's really cool about this hotel is that there's so many levels of patios that you can kind of wander around so, and have an amazing view each way. So we have a view right here, overlooking the mountains. There's like a really cute little patio right here. Another patio overlooking the other view. We have another view. We have some lemon trees growing and another view of Ravello. The opposite side town is just down this. So we are probably gonna grab some lunch slash dinner. It's about 4 p.m. I know restaurants do close around this time. So far, I'm really impressed with Ravello. It's so quiet and the views are stunning. And I think normally people do a day trip here and they don't necessarily stay overnight. So I'm really excited to see what it's like at night. It feels very relaxing and calming. And we are definitely going to head into town 
and check out Villa Cimbrone and the beautiful gardens that Ravello is known for. So stay tuned for that. Just headed to the town. Oh, and there's so many birds and lizards here. It's very, very peaceful. And we have found the main square. We just had to keep walking straight. And we found oh, we it. went the opposite way. It's that way. Okay, we're trying to find a restaurant. So it's behind us? Mm -hmm. Back oh. up that way. So I told right. you it was that way. Well, let's just walk around. We're getting the gist of the land. This looks like the main square. And like the views are absolutely stunning. And I'm assuming in summer slash daytime, this is packed with people. It's really amazing that we get it all to ourselves right now. It's so incredible. So we're just gonna wander around. And this looks like the main, the church of the square. Found Villa Ruffalo. It is right off the entrance. When you walk off the Sita bus stop, you walk through this tunnel and it's right here. And we almost had a freak out moment because they open June 18th. 2021. And what, and what day is it tomorrow? June 18th. Yes, we will be here on the first day. So it looks really beautiful. And like this is like the most famous view of Ravello. You can see all the mountains. So we are just catching a break in this gorgeous square. I'm assuming it's not as busy as it usually is because it's pretty empty. And we are just deciding where we should head off to dinner. We got a recommendation, so we are just gonna find out where it's located. And it's like very chill by first thoughts. It feels very medieval. It's also very small. It's smaller than I thought it would be. It's like a very small square. And off the square, there's like just a few rows where there's shops and the two gardens. So it's a place where you can definitely relax. So we are headed to dinner really early. We headed to dinner at Kumpa Cosmo, a popular dining spot known for the woman Netta who cooks and takes care of the tables. All right, cheers. We got a little carafe of the house wine. I'm very excited to eat. Oh my God, you're so hungry. Yeah, when you pair that with like walking, mm -hmm. you get hungry really quick. Yes. Her family has owned the restaurant for more than 75 years of its 300 year history. We ordered what was available like the eggplant parmesan and the pasta dishes like the pasta with tomato sauce and ravioli. Everything was so good and she also showed us her fresh arugula, it's also called rocket in Italy, and she offered us to make a salad. Oh. Mm. Yeah, the it's very strong. I love it. In the US I it's so a little, you know, I plate for this. Want a salad? See. Si. Yeah. I'm okay. We are trying the tiramisu. I love tiramisu. I know. We haven't had any tiramisu this whole trip. After dinner, she offered us some cookies and cherries from her garden, and she kept bringing over little treats and snacks, so it was really cute. We're just so relaxing. We're just also picking out what we want to eat for breakfast tomorrow. They do free room service, whatever time that you want, and you get to pick out what items that you want served on your little balcony. And this is such a cute restaurant. She keeps giving us cookies, and she's so sweet. It's so nice. It's still sunny out. It's crazy how late the sun sets here. So we just got back from our room from dinner. We stopped by a local shop to get some wine. And we are just enjoying the view with some work. It's just really incredible. So you could have it as an option. We got some croissants, coffees. We got four coffees, some fruit. So time to 
stopped again. We just had breakfast on our little balcony and I'm just overlooking the terrace. There's so many different terraces as I showed you yesterday and we are deciding where we want to enjoy the sun for a bit. There is a pool here, so we're gonna see how busy that is. In the morning, we're gonna go hang out in the sun, and then later today, we are gonna check out the two famous gardens, um, Villa Trembrone and the Ruffalo Gardens, and they open today, so I'm so happy that we can actually see them. It's not that big. Basically, there's a one main square that I showed you yesterday, and then there's just streets that line it. Lots of shops, ceramics, things to buy, and it's very quaint and quiet, which I love. And also, we're definitely gonna get some gelato. I heard there's an amazing gelato shop here called Buffone. We're definitely gonna get some gelato later today, so we're headed down to check out the pool. And it's pretty. We opted to relax on the large shared balcony for the entire morning and after a full day in the sun we were super hungry so we walked to a spot called Mimi's and it was hands down my favorite spot that we ate in Ravello. We found the spot. Up a few steps. We are ready for some pizza. So we sat down in their outdoor patio. Cheers all. Cheers. Lunch time. All the bread is homemade. So we have this kind of bread. And there's also like this really bright turmeric bread. Zip it in. Oh yeah. Love. It looks good, right? That looks so good. Thanks, man. It smells the pizza. After lunch, we made our way to the Ruffalo Gardens. The entrance fee was seven euros per person and is open from 9 a.m. until 8 p.m. with the last entrance at 7.30. Villa Ruffalo was built by a wealthy family in the 13th century and was one of the largest and most expensive villas on the Amalfi Coast. Architecture features Arabic, Sicilian, and Norman architecture throughout the property. Now you can tour the gardens and it's home to the annual Ravello Summer Concert Series. They were actually setting up the stage when we visited, so a part of the gardens were closed off, but we were still able to see the rest of it. So we just came from the viewpoint and they are setting up Ravello Music Concert. It starts on July 1st. Music Festival. Music Festival. So we don't see this part of the gardens, but everything else is open. You can't imagine a concert here. I'm sure it's absolutely beautiful. And we're just now keeping on visiting. Is that a bee? A flying beetle, okay. Okay, a flying beetle. We were still able to enjoy the stunning views and gorgeous gardens that surround Villa Ruffalo and afterwards we had to get some gelato at Buffone. We're getting some gelato after the gardens. Can I try the fig? That one looks really good I just want to try it to see. That's it. We love our pistachio. We got pistachio and cafe and you got pistachio and Cheesecake. Cheesecake. Yeah. Now we're walking back to the room really quickly. We met this nice couple from New York. Everyone's from New York. And we went to the gardens of the Ruffalo. Back to the room really quickly before we head out again. So we are making our way to Villa Cimbrone, which is one of the other famous gardens in Ravello. And this one is a bit further than the Villa Ruffalo from the Sita bus stop. So if you are doing a day trip, this one is a bit more of a walk. Look at this cat. Oh my goodness. So it's a bit more of a walk as you can see. You go uphill and then you come right back down. So this one has the infinity terrace with all the statues. So I think it's gonna be really gorgeous. And we came around sunset. So the lighting should be really pretty as well. The ivy here is just so incredible. What's that noise? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and this view is just so pretty. 
Villa Cimbrone is Rebello's highlight. These gardens were created in 1905 and is now home to Villa Cimbrone Hotel. You can visit the gardens for 7 euros and be sure not to miss the Infinity Terrace and the beautiful rose gardens. So we just checked out the Cimbrone Gardens. So incredibly stunning. If you can come around sunset, it's really magical because the lighting just illuminates the flowers so beautifully. And it was just a really beautiful experience. It was, but now we are at Palazzo Avino. This is a hotel in Ravello. We are gonna go get some drinks at the bar. They have a beautiful view. Look at this. This is a gorgeous. We're at the gorgeous bar. We have a beautiful view for sunset. Wow. Pato and mozzarella. The, the fennel grill. And this is the beignet with the ricotta with the lemon. Mm -hmm. This caspaccio with the terrazzo. Our first time not ordering anything Italian. Gin martini, and it's literally perfect. Perfect way to end our last night in Ravello. Taking this gorgeous view in, and we have an amazing sunset. It's an amazing view, and this is a beautiful place for aperitivo or dinner. Good morning from Ravello. We are enjoying our last breakfast before we head down to Amalfi for coffees because we love it. So we enjoyed our breakfast on the balcony, and now we are headed down to Amalfi, where we'll be staying for the next two nights. So if you are curious to know what we do in Amalfi, check out my other Amalfi video. But Ravello was amazing. This hotel has like the most amazing view and it has a great value. So looking for somewhere to stay in Ravello, definitely check out Hotel Bonities. Thank you so much for watching this Ravello vlog. Be sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos from the Amalfi Coast. And I will see you guys in Amalfi. Bye.